welcome to the Coach Kyle Show. Hi there, we're back with another episode um, of the Coach Kayo Show. I want to remind you that um, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I'm your host, Kayo De McKinnon. Um, let me take this, this this opportunity to give you a chance to, to get in on this live um, as we approach another uh, topic that deals with the development of soccer, especially youth soccer. Um, remember the show, we talk all things soccer. But our main objective here is to um, inspire, to continue to encourage um, our young people to live out their purpose. Um, we want to be able to impact their lives in a meaningful way um, through their show. And in this um, very uncertain times and uh, in a time where what people think um, is more more important to them, not necessarily the individual, um, could oftentimes um, get in the way of living a true and fulfilled life. So we really want them to, to understand that purpose is the most important thing when it comes to life and fulfillment of life. So please do, please do um, share this life. Please um, play a role, get involved, um, share your comments, your thoughts, um, even ask questions in in regards to um, what you might be dealing with and naturally understanding um, this, the, this, the soccer environment. And for some of you listening who understand uh, football, uh, the environment, because there's a lot of, there's a lot uh, of people who, um, who are investing or are truly invested in the game from a youth perspective, but don't truly understand um, the ins and outs, don't truly understand the environment. Mm. Oftentimes they, they put their, their athlete in the sport for recreation purposes. Um, some put their child in the sport because um, they love the game. The child got a liking for the game, but they love the game and, and, want to see them do well based on the fact that maybe they, didn't, they did not get the chance to to perform at the level they wanted to um, so they're living it through their 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 child um, there's many factors and oftentimes the the most important thing or the priority thing there is understanding why you why you're in that environment and what you hope to achieve and is it truly um, what you're destined to do? So it's it's okay to let us have the conversation, and hopefully, what we say and and, and what we're able to share can provoke uh, the conversations that will will bring us to a, a solution, um, not create uh, more problems, because our young people. Our young people need to understand that, you know, there's much more to life than money. There's much more to life than having a degree. Um, there's much more to life than than a lot of things that we make so important. Are those things important? Uh, yes, based on your perspective. Um, but is it all? Is it the only thing that brings meaning to life? Um, I have to absolutely disagree with that. Um, and it and and we all have a responsibility to live a fulfilled life. And you, none of us should impede that process because it don't fit what we think is a fulfilled life. So 
I hope you you you're making your way in. I hope that you're sharing this live. I hope that you're telling your friends. Um, we're steady climbing, and and that um, must show gratitude to to you who have made the effort to make sure that this message is meeting as much young people as possible. Um, we continue to grow uh, with our subscribers on YouTube. Kyrie McKinnon and Co. Um, you know Instagram and and we want to show our gratitude because you didn't have to, uh, but you choose to, and we're happy because this message um, we want to we want to give as much young people uh, the opportunity to believe, to believe, to have faith, and to continue to pursue um, the giftings and that um, God has given unto them. So we're talking about parent and the life of Sark, and I think we've exhausted this topic um, be, because it's such an important topic uh, because the ones who um, have this great responsibility to make sure that learning um, is taking place um, and not just, yes, you want to have fun, um, but you also want an environment that is challenging and you want an environment that is enriching. You want an environment that is empowering and inspiring um, our young people to be their best self, to continue to grow, to continue to grow, to continue um, to have the discipline, to have the commitment, all attributes that will be needed in life as you as you get older, as you continue this journey. Um, but if you don't start now, if you don't um, implement those things now, then you can only do what you know. And oftentimes we see that is a result of some of the mental issues, some of the mental health issues that we're talking about mental awareness and we're talking about mental health. We're talking about all these things that are very serious, um, but... Um, if you could if you could if you could intercept the problem before it becomes a problem then you're on to something so we want to discuss that um but before we do that just want to make a small interruption to bring our our um, our march to you hopefully you continue to support this because this helps us to continue to uh, fit the trends of the game continue to grow the game in a way that and give opportunities um, to we say the less fortunate, because this environment is about a lot of a lot of perception that is not related to soccer perception, but perception of of things that don't necessarily put you in a position to succeed um, with your gifts, based on what you want to achieve. So, please do support the march and take a short. Let's take a short break so you get a view of what it is. Coyote McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote McKinnon and Company. We care. All right, welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. If you're now joining us, remember we talk all things soccer. Kayo Day here. Um, please do. Uh, we have everything for your need uh, when it relates to soccer. Um, obviously, you have uh, our cash up there. You can use it uh, to support uh, what we're trying to do. Um, it's um, from our perspective. A lot of things are not as easy 
as it is for some, and, and, and that is just life. It's it's no reason to complain. And there's a journey, and everybody needs to, to, to go on that path that leads them to what they need to, to have. Um, so we don't complain about it. It's part of our journey. It's part of our success story. Um, and, and oftentimes, the, if the river is flowing a certain way, it flows a certain way. Uh, there might be tributary in, in, in there, but that's what. If it starts flowing in that direction, it will flow in that direction. Um, it's what you do once you get on that river. Are you going to go where everybody else is going? Or are you going to try to um, to go where you need to go, taking a different taking a different approach. So, yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's it's challenging, uh, but it's part of our journey. It, it's what makes us successful. It's what drives us, what inspires us. Um, say hi, Sonia. Thanks for, for being here. Continue to share um, this life. This life, I'm um, sorry. We're talking about parent, parents and the life of soccer. And... You know, hopefully you can definitely participate in this one. Well, I think we have done a few so far. We had part eight, and it seems like uh, we haven't gotten enough of it yet based on um, some of the information that we have at our disposal. But nevertheless, um, we want you to participate. In, in some cases, um, some of the things are amusing, um, but very serious when it relates to development and, and, and youth soccer, which we see um, as a very serious thing in terms of um, young people and their growth and their mental health and their um, and fulfilling purpose. So joining me to talk about parent and the life of soccer, obviously the wingman, uh, the greater Waller Med. Mr. Waller Med, how are you doing, sir? Good day, Kyle. How are you? Uh, I'm doing quite well. And when you put all everything into perspective, I'm doing I'm doing really well. Are we talking about parents and the life of soccer? Uh, yes. How are you doing so far? I'm doing good. I'm weak, along with, with um, obviously with uh, USL, uh, two girls with um, training and, you know, UWS? just making sure we can. UWS? 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 UWSL, too. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. UWS, too? Yeah, UWS, too. <laughs> UW, yeah, the league for, for the women's league, the women's league. I don't know yeah. if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear okay. you. I can hear you. So the, I think the everybody league, can hear you. The women's league, yeah, the women's league. The yeah. the uh, younger kids, younger kids, and just you know, it's going through that process every day, pretty much. You know, I'm just going through that process every day. So yeah. Kudos to the girl. Kudos to the ladies this 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 weekend. Tough loss, um, but it's part of the process. Um, and um, if they if if you didn't have a word like losing, then winning wouldn't exist. So you have to. I don't think you ever lose. I think every opportunity that you have uh, is to learn. It's to get better. Um, is to understand where you are. Um, and use it as a as a as a um, use it as something to get better to improve from your last performance. I think this is something we don't teach enough. I think when you a lot of what you see is success, 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 success. People only show only show success. They only show what they've done well. Um, but so it give it give this 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 idea that. Um, that's the only thing that matters. But part of growing is being vulnerable. Part of growing is is understand that you're not the best person in the room. You're not the smartest in the room. You don't have all the answers in the room. And that in itself you know, allow you to grow. So, you know, 
just an encouragement uh, to some of the things that we see from coaches and stuff. Also share the stories of failure. You know, you you only people only share stories of success. Oh, we won this game, we won this game, but when they lose the game, they don't talk about it. They don't put it out there. Um, and so you, you give people this false sense of, oh, we only win. Well, sometimes you you have to lose to win. Um, sometimes you have to see that you're, you're not as good as you think you are. Or if you don't show up every day with the same, with the right mentality, then, or with the right attitude, then you might limit yourself in terms of maximizing your performances. So there's so much, there's so much to gain sometimes when you don't really get the result that you desire or things don't go as much as you desire to go. It's how you look at it. So I say things are always based on perspective. There's, I've learned that over a period of time that I don't have to be right. Um, You could be right. And you are right because it's your perspective and it's your choice to come uh, to a solution or come to a common ground where there's an understanding if you choose to have such. Uh, But when you feel, uh, when you feel okay that you don't have to be the smartest person, you don't have to have the answer, you don't always have to know what to do, then it opens you up to, to learning what what are your what are your thoughts there with um, you see these stories and every time you every time you see something on Instagram especially when we relate to youth and soccer it's always the positive things it's always we won this game but we know when they lose the game we don't see them do nothing for a week or two um, and, and and that is something you and I talk about that um, it's not a healthy it's not a healthy environment to create or to send a message that you always win when that is not the case. Life is not, not life in general is not like that. So talk to that. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Like I said, even myself, put myself in that category. It took it took a while because again, we're coming from a, we're coming from a culture that winning is pretty much winning is everything. Winning is everything. Winning is is what what we we expect. It's a word that I use, expect. You see, it's not earned, it's expected. People expect that you're supposed to win. So when you don't win and it's in that light, people don't know how to react to that. And they don't know that's part of the process. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When you're not going to win everything, but the process is what did you learn through that process, you know, with, with that loss. And you don't, like I said, in America, they don't, they don't post that. Nobody, nobody posts failures, even though that is mm-hmm. part of your success nobody post failures, which that's part of your life. You're going to mm-hmm. fail. You're going to fail. That's part of your life. Like you said, it's your percept- perspective of what do you do now? What do you do now? I understand the situation. How do I move forward? Yeah. And I think a lot, a lot of the fall on parents because parents are the one who, who are quick to make those decisions about what should be a next step. And they're the ones who don't truly understand that next step, what that next step means. So the perception of results, not journey, results, is what um, drives the decision making, and it's it's not. I I firmly believe it's not a good way to um, to teach a young person about life. It's not a it's not a good way because it don't matter what you do. You could do you could do everything as best the ability right and it still don't turn out that way <laughs> you could you could you could be as honest as you want to be it still don't mean honesty will come back to you you could give as much as you want to give you could give your best you could give um you could give without reservations it don't mean somebody won't stab you in your back um so and I think there's a there's there's a lot to be said in that area that we create this false narrative uh, of what life is, and because we are matured and we are old in our age, uh, we think it it don't have repercussions, but it do. Um, I can't tell you among the kids who don't even really like their parents, 
um, in that aspect. You know, they respect them, and, but you know, they 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 speak about them in this way, like you know, uh, who are these people? <laughs> They don't mm-hmm. get it. They keep doing the same thing. And the funny part is you see them and they talk so highly and like they they don't even know like the kids don't really want you around there because your your energy, your vibes, your the, the, the things that come out comes out of your mouth. There's 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 I always say there's a fear, but there's no reverence. <laughs> Think about that, right? There's a fear, but there's no reverence. And God talk about that. He said, you know, when he talk about fear, he, he was he was talking more about reverence me, understand and respect that what I am capable of and what I can do is beyond what you can ever do. And then is the fear of, you know what? You you on your own, you on your own mission. You're doing whatever you want to do. It's not necessarily for the best interest of me. And that that creates this 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 separation. Um between uh, the parents and the child. And what I've learned, what I've learned of all is kids have the ability, people in general, but okay. kids and young people have the ability to tune you out without you understanding, without you knowing that you are tuned out. What do you mean? Go, go, a little that, deeper, go a little deeper. That means that, let's think about soccer. Okay. A lot of times, trainers, well, I call them trainers, not coaches, because when you when you talk about coaching, when you talk about coaches, you have to talk about coaching. And so that's a whole different process. But we're talking about parents and the life of soccer. When you are when you are when you, when they have some trainers, they will excuse me, let's say they're working on the excuse me, on the attacking. And the attacking function of the game, right? Okay. And today they said, well, we'll focus on we'll focus on breaking the lines. Okay. But then in that moment, within their exercise of what they're doing, they're talking about everything else except breaking the lines. They're talking about okay. they're talking about your runs, they're talking about your body positioning, they're talking about uh, you've you've got to you've got to see the play, you have to see the play on the left side. They're talking about all of these things, right? But remember, the main thing was to break the lines. Break the lines. So when when you're talking about all these things, but then the person understand the main thing here is breaking the lines. They start and and they start to tune out all the other things and try to focus on the thing. They can do best because they can't do a million things. So the idea is you have this one thing that you want to to see happen, but you're talking about a million things. So now the child is left in a position to decide what is the most important thing I should be focusing on. So in that way, they learn to tune out stuff that they cannot connect with and implement. But they're not going to tell you because there's a fear of repercussions. So I can't tell you how many times or how much times this is happening. When you're really sitting and you talk um, to young people, you know, a lot of coaches don't sit down and have no conversation because they're not there. Their reason for being there. don't necessarily mean that they're there for development. It could be there because they're okay. because they want a job. It's not it's not work. our place to say yeah. if that is right or wrong. Is it's it's, yeah. it's whatever whatever like this is whatever the parents want. But yeah. I can't tell you I, I can't tell you enough of how kids tune out their parents to the point where I don't trust nothing what you say. I only do it because I know. If I don't, then I can't get the resources to do what yeah, I want yeah. to do. I want to do. And I and I and I tell you, Prince, that the moment your child hit that that place of development or not development, sorry, where they have their own independence, 
your kids don't even want to they don't even want to see you seeing you and being around you is just like it's routine or it's tradition they can't wait to leave so be careful because they have the ability to tune you out without you even knowing because they have no reverence they just have fear so something to think about if you're out there and you know and you want to chime in and you want to um, maybe you have an experience maybe you don't know if this might be happening to you and why it yeah, might be happening right. to you it's okay that's to right. share it's okay to ask the question um, remember this show is to provoke conversation conversations to empower our young people to inspire them to live out their purpose you know for some people well that don't matter nobody cares everybody making money well good that's your perspective make money mm -hmm. but we also see kids dying from mental health exactly. we also see kids turning um committing suicide mm -hmm. we we see in drug abuse we seen um young people are being abused in their homes uh we've seen all of these things but they come into soccer right Soccer, yeah, so, so, yeah, we understand that's not your business because nobody cares about that. But I guarantee you, somebody's dealing with these things. And hopefully with our voice over this mic and over this live, um, they can they, they they can believe that there's life after all of the negativity and all the things that they're experiencing right now that they don't know how to deal with. They don't have nobody to tell them it. Um, there's 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 light on the other side of this. Um, okay. And, and this is why we do it, and we will continue to do it. So we have. Let some me ask you a question. Uh, yeah, let me ask you a question. So I know you just recently you just recently um, been in another environment, right? You you went to you went to go spend some time in another environment. In those two. Like, do you believe with the and the, the, it's the same? It's the same situation. Go, go there again. You, you're breaking up a little, a bit. You're breaking up a bit. So okay. Go so the um, people can hear you. Okay. Okay. Do you recently? You just recently took um, a trip, so and it was in a different environment. So I want to know: Do you believe the parents in those environments? understand the situation or they're based on the culture it's the same out here i think one of the amazing things um you know obviously i'm from south america originally the city caribbean but we're on the border of brazil Suriname, venezuela um so more south american flavor um okay i know we constantly have this conversation about in order to play, if you have a desire to play soccer, football at, at a real high level, one of the big things you need outside of the tactical, the technical, the physical, um, and in some regards, psychological. The psychological is more about um, result-oriented and, and optimizing performances and making sure that you understand um, that you have the ability to be that. Uh, but deeper than that, you, you need to have character. Um, okay. You need to know who you really are and what you should be doing. And I think too many times parents try to answer those questions for their kids in America. Um, they want to tell them what is the pathway uh, to success. And, and unfortunately, in the business of sports, in the business of soccer, if you if there's any integrity about it, if there's any honesty about it, you you need to have a you need to have character, and 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 that speaks to who am I? Who am I? And and what is it I should be doing? What what makes what makes life fulfill fulfilling to me? And, and in being in that environment, you see that parents understand the assignment. This is what this child wants to do. Okay. I put them there, and the responsibility is not just on the people you're putting them with, but the responsibility is on the player to make sure 
that their commitment to this process gives them an opportunity. And, and what you saw is hundreds of kids will go to that environment not knowing what the end result will be, but understanding risk and rewards. Understanding risk and rewards. And they go there with just a hope. Sadly, you see some of them leave after a week with their bags and their suitcase to return home because you just weren't ready. But I'm telling you, hundreds of kids. And you see that they understand this is part of the process. It's not the ending of the process, but it's part of the process. Now, I'm not ready now, but guess what? I know what I need to do going forward. And that was amazing because, you know, for a very long time, it's the first time you see it's, it was more about the individual more than the other things mm -hmm. that come with it. So that was right. that was fantastic because, you know, people just look at soccer and the recreation, but they don't know, they don't know the psychological damage it does to someone when they want to fulfill something that is burning inside of them. And at every juncture, there's barriers there's barriers creating negativity, negative comments, um, negative, negative influence. There's, everything is so negative and they feel like, yeah, well, I'm doing the best. No, you're not because you don't know what your kids be saying about you. And if you don't know what your kids are saying about you when you're not around, you're in a bad place. You're in a bad place. And let me let me say this to some of you. It's not nice because they know who you are. They know how you really feel and they know why you do it. Like I said, there's fear. So they oftentimes don't say anything. But that was, some, that was something that was really interesting. There was a lot of things um, that sometimes you forget when you're in, when you're in a culture that, uh, that looks at things so, <laughs> uh, so mundane. And then you go and it's it's life. It, it, it's, yeah. it's it's part of while everybody know not everybody gonna make it. Um, why do it then if you're not gonna if you're not gonna want to be great at it? And then here, listen now, they'll say, "Well, we don't want to be great, so why are you screaming on the side of the field? Why why are you screaming on the side of the field? Why are you upset when you lost?" Why are you playing wreck and want to move to another wreck team because this wreck team is not good enough? Like, what craziness is that? Mm -hmm. like, it blows my mind, right? So it tells me mm -hmm. it's just they only say that because they they because they pride got hurt or 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 they yes. feed in the egos. Nothing else. Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely right. No, that was that that was big. So that was something that I I wanted to I wanted to get your perspective on that because I know just. We haven't been in that environment in a while. We've been here for some time in America. And I know it had to feel it had to feel good. I, I know it had to feel real good to see it and to see it. Yeah, this they talk about all the time. It's not something that we don't talk about all the time. So just for you to see it and be like, yeah, yes, we're on the right page, what we always talk about. So yeah. I know that's something it's that 300, it's, three, it's 365 wow. days. It's 365 days of that life. <laughs> it's 365 days yeah. of that, and some change and some change um, of that life. And it's amazing the commitment and the love yes. and the passion. It's just, it, it, it's like a fresh air. <laughs> it's like fresh yeah, air. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, you just like, you, you yeah, get up and you can't look forward to what, this would what this day will present to you. Um, you're not worrying about if you're gonna get an email. <laughs> you're not worried no, about yes, the things yes. that are not <laughs> directly important to the process. Um, yeah. 
but it's, it's it's awesome. So let's get into some of these things that we see and um, and see where we go with it. Hopefully, we get some comments. Um, we know that you're out there. We know that. Um, and if you if you're watching privately, we we appreciate that too. As long as the message is reaching where it needs to go, um, that's not that's the most important thing. Not us or or, or what we're saying about the the message, the message of empowerment and impacting the lives of our young people is what we truly want to get over. So if you can help with that process, um, we do appreciate it a thousand times, a thousand times. Before we do that, though, we want to say thanks to those who came out to the game um, yesterday. Obviously, I, I wasn't there, but yes. I was there. Thank you for coming out for for supporting our ladies, and um, I could say on behalf of them, really appreciate it. We have more games, um, we have more games coming up, and 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 there's a there's a need uh, to improve the level of soccer within the women game in New Jersey. We need more. We need to have more professional ladies coming out of communities, not necessarily big colleges, but communities. Um, to give the, the other young girl an opportunity to say, you know what, I can do it if she can do it too. Um, yeah, yeah. And to bring a lot of things to your communities too, a lot of resources. You know, when a player going off and become a pro, they're able to come back and build a field. They're able to mm -hmm. come back and, and, and create a, a school. They're able to oh. come back and, and, and sponsor kids who might, who might not have the resources to do so. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not we, we look at it too too simple. We look at it too yeah. like it's just a little kick a yeah. ball and run around. You're changing yeah. lives. People have true soccer. People have the ability to change lives. You see Sadio Main and what he was able to do in Senegal. Yes, build hospitals yes. and yes. all these things. So we we look at things and we so selfish about it because it's not our interest. And if it's not your interest, so why you do it? That's all we're saying. Why are you doing it? Stay away from it. Stop causing confusion in things that you don't care about. You could easily just walk down the road and go ride your bike in a truck or build a tennis court in your yard and play all day. You could put yourself on life too. You could do all them things. You could go in spelling B. You could go in artist competition. You could do science. You could do agriculture. Why do you want to come on the field and want to plant grass and talking? But well, my child needs to have fun. Well, mm -hmm. let them become an agri. Let them get involved in agriculture, so they could plant as much grass. And you could take videos and you could show it on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever you want to do. Why are we so disrespectful to the thing? And then we want to hold other people at higher standards about, oh, this person don't know. Oh, this person don't know what is training. Oh, this person don't know about development. This person don't know. Oh, come on. Come on. The sport can change right. lives. But Absolutely you, right. sometimes we're so selfish that we think it's just about us and our child. What about the child who depending on this sport to get them into college? To get them a degree. God bless them with this talent. To, to get them a degree. To get them a, a master's. So they could go back to their community. So they could go back to their families and encourage them and even invest in their, in their cousin, in their sister, in their brother to go through college too. So now you have a whole family going to college because of soccer, because of one. one. We've got to look bigger, you know. Nevertheless, let, let's get in. We we had we, we had three yeah, four minutes more. We want to stay up. We want to finish at an hour. And we have to keep our eyes open and be ready to go. Let's go. Trainers that only accept high level uh players. You wanna you wanna you wanna tackle this one first? Hopefully we have some, some, yes, some feedback on this one. Trainers and that only Okay. So yeah, is that mm -hmm. cause I know I know on Instagram is 
Instagram is big. I know social media, it's a, it's a big platform for a lot of, a lot of, and the slogan I use in there or on top of their post is only looking for quality ballers or high level players mm. only. Mm. only. So they don't, we're not talking about, yeah, we're not talking about development only. Yeah. I think is I think I think sometimes it's either um sometimes it's unconscious or unintentional um because they're trying to sell the seriousness of their program just let's say that and how serious they are but also I think sometimes it's a bit of arrogance um when you you use that and if if I have ever used it can't remember I apologize because you know only a professional only professional academies um should have to say about high level players unless you're a professional academy unless you have a professional arm uh, that creates a pathway uh, for the young players then you should be speaking about high level everyone else should desire committed players um if you if you know if you want to say we desire committed people i have no problem with that because to learn you need commitment but when you say high level um, are you a professional academy you're preparing players um, you preparing players so what you should desire more is commitment um, players who are willing to develop and learn over a period of time But if you're saying high level, that means they're on the pathway uh, to a professional team and you don't have a professional team. So how is high level? What what do you have to back up what you're saying? You know, so I think sometimes it's, it's just it's unintentional uh, because they, they're looking for uh, for players who are, are serious. But I think words got power. And when you start talking about high level, um, you're talking about the professional academy where it's more now about getting the players ready uh, for the game model. But if you're now teaching a player how to receive and pass the ball, like how are you going to use the same term as high level? How are you going to use the term? How are you going to use the term high level? I only want high level players. That means you in Bayern Munich, you in Real Madrid coaching, you in Barcelona, maybe you in somewhere, you in some professional academy, but if you run in a program, come on. Why why are you saying high level players? <laughs> you need committed players. It's a better word to use. So um if you are if you unintentionally mm-hmm. um doing it and really trying to send a message of you need serious players, you know, use committed because, like I said, mm-hmm. a lot of times people who are not educated on, on, the, on the soccer aspect of things, they use those things as the, the little song bites for, for the decision they're making and not truly understanding what that really means. And when you do try to tell them... Um, you know the intellectual side of things want to trust what feed the ego rather than what bring them into subjection so it that's that's oftentimes the big issue there um if we start using words in the soccer environment that is not consistent with the process of growth and development then we create this level of dysfunction that we have say hi to the people if you're listening um share your comments We here ask the question. We'll answer to the best of our ability. Um, if you're looking without your screens open, we also thank you for being here. S- still do something for us, though. You can share the life, share the life to a young soccer player who aspiring, um, who wants to be at that next level. Share it to a parent, a parent or parents who might want to get their child into soccer. Um, but the first thing they look at is the fee. Um, Yeah, look at the fee. It's important. You have to budget yourself. You have to know what you can do. But 
stop asking about the fee. Ask about the process. Ask about if your child going to truly learn. Because at the end of the day, you don't play. Your child plays. Um, but it's always the fee. And when the fee don't fit them, their face, their face change. <laughs> They forget that they're here for their kids. <laughs> their face change. It's, okay, we 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 just not doing it. Let's go to the next video. Let's go to the next video. Winding down. When you pay, <laughs> when you pay and commit another season to the team, and once you're locked in, the club switches coaches. You know, I'll I'll go first in this one, um, to to feed your bone a bit. Um, because you know, this is this is this is just this is the soccer environment in America. We know this, especially at the more grassroots programs. To say travel, travel is grassroots. Um, I think all I think all should be rec. Um, there should be levels of rec, though. Um, but when you use the word travel and rec, there's some kind of um, some kind of separation there that is no really no separation. Um, I think it should just be rec one, rec two, or something. Because uh, when people hear travel, they think they're on the they think they're on mm -hmm. a on the next level from from rec. No, you are you still rec. You rec. Your grass your grassroots program. So that's my perspective. That is from what I know. Um, but. People always have to do that because, once again, parents like familiarity. Um, they like to know who they know. And what is wrong with that is if you're not a coach and you're not, you're not at the level to develop players, how are you making decisions about which coach should be coaching the team? Unfortunately, um, Fair it's politics in, in youth soccer where they have to give the coach that the parents like, not necessarily the coach that will develop. So when you see this happening, it's because the club don't truly have an identity and that one, uh, for player development, when um, they don't have a true identity with, with, with a program uh, of where it's either um, the, 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 the development or the organization-facing process and player-facing process. It's more about parent-facing. So when I talk about organization-facing, um, you're talking about they have a clear curriculum, they have a clear idea, they, they're specific about what they want to see. And then you talk about the player-facing aspect is the, the development of, um, you talk about player profile and positional profile. And you build, you in you you build the 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 player, the individual player, um, in that aspect. So that is not the focus. If that is the focus, then you put the best person to do the job there. But because it's not about that facing, um, it's not about player development facing. Um, it's more about parents facing. Which creates this dysfunction within the game, and you have people just, you know, people just talking loosely um, because they pay, because the, the programs are play are more parents eccentric. It's 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 more about play. It's about parent facing. They create things for for satis to satisfy the parents, but they talk about development okay. but it's not really because why you have to persuade appearance to stay or why you have to pick the team and then get the people to lock in and then tell them the coach change and you know in America <laughs> people literally run behind coaches not teams that's why you could leave one team as a coach and go to the next team as a director. Coaches. Because a lot of people yeah. like you and mm -hmm. they're going to follow you and you get a percentage on the other team. Go ahead. That was my little take on that. That's a fact. That's a fact. I like it. No, that was... That was... That was exactly... That's exactly what I had. I'll, I'll add on to that. We'll talk about... Um, is 
is they give the coach that's gonna bring in the most money. If there's a coach mm-hmm. that's very likable, I believe the parents, the parents enjoy, like you said, that familiarity. The parents enjoy that. Okay, this po- this coach is approachable. He um he likes my daughter, or he's he, he my son likes him. So you know we'll stay or we'll follow him. If he jumps and goes to another, um, gotta we gotta go down the street because you know my daughter really likes that, that coach. So yeah. it's, that's gonna be the most most because that's what we're focusing on. I think that uh, you know. Sorry if if guys if there's Makes some sense. some um if if it is there's some issues with with the wall and the internet um hopefully we'll rectify nevertheless that's why parents they really don't have to care about development because everything is parents facing it's not club facing it's not player facing it's parents facing. And that's why we talk about parents in the life of soccer because they play such a big role. Uh, they they have the priority to make sure that development is happening when they bring their child to soccer. Outside of that, why do you do it? Why do you seek all this high so-called high-level play and high-level environment when you yourself don't understand what that is? And I believe there's a lot of treachery in soccer. And, 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 and I said this the other day, the only way you understand the difference is when you know that you're doing it the honest way. There's no other way. The only way you're able to decide what is with integrity, what is with truth, what is with, with commitment, what is with dedication and hard work, um, is if you are like that. And then there's a lot of dysfunction there because of what I'm saying. You know, people could get away with that easy. You know, clubs after, oh, we even though the coach is highly qualified to do the job, they will say, well, we can't put him in the A team yet because, you know, the parents will leave. What's, what madness is that? So you are robbing mm-hmm. a child. Mm-hmm. of being developed and getting better and living out their dreams because if you make that decision you stand the risk of losing some people and because that is the direction they have taken this is what have been this is what they have created remember you create culture culture is not solid it's fluid you have to you have to reinforce culture every day it's a lifestyle. So culture is not something that is set. You have to reinforce culture every day. So if you create this, if you create this idea of, you know, parents and 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 parents decide who is the best person for the job. To, so then, what is the purpose of doing a license? Yes, you do a license so you could sell your program. Oh, this coach have an A license. This coach have a B license. But are they doing what a B license coach have the competency to do? Are they doing what an, an A license coach got the competency to do? Or it's watered down because, well, you know, we not, you know, the parents and the parents and the parents. Yeah. Keep saying the parents and it's okay. That's why we're talking about parents in the life of soccer. Because parents... If you're listening, you see how much power you have. They are literally doing it because of you. So then what message are you giving to people that will do things that have no ben that will never benefit your child in terms of what they want to achieve? And then the child hates you under the under the rug. They they can come and tell you in front of your face, but they don't like you under the rug. Because nobody can like somebody who takes something away from them that they hold so dear to their heart. How? You tell me one person. One person you know that will love somebody who takes something away from them that is dear to their heart. Even when somebody dies, people want to curse God. Something. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody, Kyle. Like I said, 
that I don't, I've experienced myself. Like I said, I was going to tell my story. I experienced myself when, you know, I wanted something in terms of trying to, to play at that next level. And there was some pushback and I already mm -hmm. started, I already started to, to, to hate certain, some people in my family. Like I already started to hate certain people. Cause I'm like, yo, you, you serious right now? Like you're not supporting it. You know, this is what I care about. You are really not going to support it. And mm -hmm. it's just, I can understand, especially if you're young too and you have a passion for it. Especially if you're young, you have a passion for it, Kyle. Never. Yeah. Yeah. That's you yeah. your story just yeah. like my story. Like you look around and you say, like, where's the support? Like, okay. <laughs> okay. And and um and it's and it's okay because we, you know, maybe God built us this way that we're able to overcome and we're able to talk about it and we're able to share our stories. And this is this is why sometimes failures are so important because it's, it's what you do with it. You know, we have taken it and we have we've continued to move forward and we continue to build and we continue to strive. Um, but we do this show because not everybody has that willpower. You know, not everybody, and we know that to be true, not everybody. Some people get so more than them, they just want to, they just don't want to live anymore. So yeah, people could laugh and they could talk, but you know, we take this serious. We take this serious because while you having your good life and and you going on about your business and you you in your you in the job that you love and you able to provide for your kids and all that, listen, they also have a desire for themselves. And you can impede that process. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying as parents, you have to be careful. And you have to, you have to depend on that discernment to make sure that you are not impeding the process, that you are not getting involved to the point where you're stopping it because they will tune you out. They will tune you out. And now when you get tuned out, you start blaming other people. You start making somebody else the problem that you've created. That you've created. Now, you, now you're doing things, and you know we call it, you're doing things in your side eye, and now you can't wait for error. You can't wait for a mistake to say, you know, remember I, I, I told you so. Like life is not about mistakes. Like life is not about ups and downs. Like life is not about setbacks. Like life is not about uh, errors. It's like life, like life is life is just a smooth part with just glorious things and perfection and greatness. You always know, you, you always know, you always know them. Because you 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 always know people. They so harp on the things that um it's a little, it's a little part of your life. And the and the, the main part of your life, they don't talk about that part because if they talk about that part, the part that they really want, the part that they're talking about all the time makes no sense. Makes no sense. But to each his own, right? Uh, at the end of the day, to each his own. And 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 just like we want people to respect our perspective, we also respect each and every person's perspective. We're not saying that you're wrong. All we're saying is maybe this is a perspective you can look from. Because maybe you never look at it from this mm -hmm. point of view. We're not saying you're wrong. You are absolutely right because it's your choice. And God bless us with this great opportunity to choose. We, 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 all of us are blessed with this great. We, we like to talk too much about wrong and right. It's your choice. You made a choice. You and I made, and we continue to make choices in life. It's our choices. Nobody don't have to like your choice. But it's your choice. And you have to. Take ownership for your choice. And if somebody don't want to bring a perspective to maybe bring you to a place where your choices are better, why is it so difficult for them to just go their way? 
I don't, I don't understand why they want to stay around to make your life a, miser- a living hell. Or why they want to talk about your program and talk about you. Like, what, what is your point? What is your point? You, you have made your choice. Mm-hmm. And your choice is right. So we come on the show and we're not talking about you are wrong in what you're doing. We're saying is maybe you need to look from this perspective. And you could also choose to be like, just need to go in a garbage bin. Absolutely nothing is wrong with that. Because the last time I checked, what you put in a garbage, a man who's hungry is eating out of that same garbage. So what is rubbish for you is food for someone else. It's all perspective. It's all perspective of what? We, 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 we are running behind the wrong things. We are running, we are fighting the wrong battles. We should get up every day and start thinking about what we are thinking about. Because if we don't, we'll only do what we're thinking about. That's such a that's that's such a self-centered way to live that you lose the opportunity to be great. So learning is powerful and growth is everything. It's constant. So what you know yesterday, you keep talking about that. Because today, <laughs> I've moved on. I've moved on. And tomorrow, if you don't look sharp, you're going to still be in yesterday. I already gone. you still be in today. I already move on. I go on to something else. And if you stay in, if you stay in today, then you're doing something to yourself. That means you're moving forward. <laughs> You ain't moving forward. You still in yesterday, or you still That's in right. today? That's right. That's right. You see, it's perspective. Right. It's perspective. So, it's nine oh one, and um, we really want to appreciate um, those that are watching. Obviously, you maybe didn't feel comfortable sharing, or you didn't want to share, or you know, once again, choices, power of choices. Um, <laughs> We've made a choice to, to speak about this and we, we will continue to make choices to speak about it. Um, but we want to do one more. We probably got one. We could do one more. One more for the road, they say. One more for the road. One more for the road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do one more. All right. When we see a stud player that we can claim we develop. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think... <laughs> I think we said a mouthful about this just now. I think um, they're both connected. Like, it, it's such... It, it's sad. But the people who have the power, who should make it a priority, they don't. And and are they are the parents. They don't... They don't understand what the developmental model is. And they don't care to listen because it's not their thing. They don't have to care. They don't don't have to care. All they have to care about is the price. But boy, at Jesus, at the Yeshua, not pay that price. Okay. Somebody have to pay a price. Somebody have to pay a price. And without paying a price, the story is not there for you to feel empowered. And Martin Luther King didn't pay a price. I wouldn't hear the I had a dream speech. I still trying to live the dream. <laughs> I'm still trying to live the dream. But the mere fact that that speech is there to remind me that Boy, he had a dream. <laughs> but you okay. don't know a man through comfort. I don't want to I don't want to miss the quote, but but you know a man <laughs> in crisis. I have been through many crises and I've looked at that speech and be like, yeah, this my pay a price. Now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be a I'm gonna try and be a better person. And sometimes mm-hmm. you have to get rid of the people around you to be a better person because 
Martin Luther King paid the price. Yeah. There's so many people that you, so many people that pay a price with their life. But there's obviously some people don't want to pay a price, but they want the rewards. Mm. So I don't want to give something that will bring me to this level, but I'm going to give what I chose to give, but I want the same level. What do you call that in this world? Selfish. What do you call that? I, I don't understand it. Selfish. There's a so high fish. price for a high reward, but I will say I will give a less price, but I, I demand a high reward. What is wrong with you? What message, what message are you teaching? Where in life your children in, in, this, in this lifetime will succeed off of that idea? This is not 1950 nothing or 196 or something. This is 2022. They got kids who are nine smarter than you and I. <laughs> they at 11 talking two, three different languages. I can't even speak the English good. <laughs> <laughs> so what type of madness are you are you do you thinking that that method will work where you could give if you could give five and expect to get 50? Without doing the work. Mm -hmm. No, you give five. <laughs> and you just want that five to turn into 50. Mm -hmm. We're creating a weak generation. We're creating a mentally ill generation. Because we have the power. The parents have the power. They have the power. The power lies in their hands. Chanak, dedicate. Back to the original thing. You that's that is a power that was placed on you as a parent. You can't you can't get rid of it. You could just abuse it. <clears throat> so you have to choose. You have to choose. Do you want it to empower or do you want it to abuse? Makes do you sense. want it to inspire? Or do you want to create setbacks? Every time, not sometimes. You want to just create setback, 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 setback. So something positive happening, you go on negative. So something positive, boy, be careful. So something you should have never. Like it's just, mm -hmm. just keep going down this line of negativity, mm -hmm. right? And we both experience in our lifetime. Right. So, listen, we we'll wrap up this show. Like again, on behalf of myself. Uh, Coach Wall, the entire KMSA team, you know, will continue uh, to bring as much meaningful content here um, to challenge our young people. I see it. I see it. And I saw it with my own eyes. Sheltered and unsheltered. Mm. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Sheltered and unsheltered. Mm -hmm. Sheltered is dangerous in this time, in this season. Mm -hmm. We have to be honest. We have to mm -hmm. we have to let them know the harsh truth. We have to talk about the uncomfortable things because yes. everybody sees it. Many on uncommon grounds, you know. And it's, it's it's scary. <laughs> Because it's what I said, cat will eat your dinner. <laughs> I was saying, we, we have a like, cat will eat your dinner. Okay. You know? and it, so we don't, we hope that, you know, with this, that use it as something to look at. Don't quickly dismiss it. Don't quickly, don't look at the faces, but look at the message. You know, <laughs> look at the message. Because I want them to ask, is there a different level? Of a license, there's an a license for one group of people. It's a difference for another group of people. Does it come mm -hmm. to the same respect from one group of people, or it comes to the same respect from another group of people? Is it is it there? Is there a balance? Is there um, mer meritocracy across the board when it relates to these things? And, you know, most people can't answer that question. So don't worry the faces. Don't worry the message. And you choose to you choose to embrace this message. Choose to do it. 
choose to change the narrative, choose to see beyond yourself, to, to empower the ones you have, uh, have been blessed. You, you are blessed to have them. You're blessed to have them, to call them your own, even though they're not, but you're blessed to call them your own. So choose, choose, choose to make the decision not based on what your future look like, but what their future should look like. I hope you, I hope Sorry. that you stay blessed. Um, well, anything before we before we before we go? Yeah, no, nah, that was that was like I said, I was I was very excited when you when you like I said you've been out you've been out for a while, so just you coming back and you sharing some of the insight that you experienced in that other environment is just, like I said, it's, 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 it's a brand new energy. I mean, if people that know the game and been in these different environments, it's just, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to go and know that, boy, you got every day you wake up, these, these athletes or these players want it. They want an opportunity. They want the chance to, to get to that next level. And it's just, and I know that in, in this culture, it can happen. It can happen, but like you said, the, the power is placed into the wrong hands, to be honest. So let's, we just got to keep pushing. Like you said, we got to keep pushing. We got to keep pushing. It's not going to stop here. Why stop? Why stop? Yeah. There's no reason to stop. <laughs> There's no reason to stop. And even more, it's keep the eyes and the focus uh, on, on, on the gifting that you have. Because it's not really you. I don't know what people get this idea is them. You can't, you can't, you can't do nothing. All you can do, like when I say you can't do nothing, like you're not responsible for that person being great. Okay, okay. You're just responsible to bringing greatness to them. Okay. You're responsible for bringing commitment to them. You're responsible to bringing honesty to them. You're responsible to bringing hard work to them. Like I could bring a I could bring a plate of food to you, but then you say, Well, I don't eat meat. <laughs> I could bring a plate of food with meat, but you say, I don't eat meat. But I brought it to you. It's the same way. You're not you, 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 you. Oh, there's my player and my player and my player. Like, that's not your player. You're responsible though to bring in. That greatness, that intensity, that that environment that is suitable, and then let them choose to take part. That goes for everybody. Responsibility is to do the right things, and 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 push for it, and let the people choose because God already chose. <laughs> you already choose already, so you could jump, you could go left, go right, you could circle around, you could have the best scheme. The best plan, the best whatever. If you're not choosing those principles, then okay. We know broad is the road. Lord. Stay blessed. Have a fantastic week. See you again Monday, 8 sharp. Bring a friend. Tell them. The Coach Kyle Show. Talk all things soccer, but more so impact and inspire our young people to live all their purpose. Have a good one. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun. So why not name it rec? A elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.